Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are continuing our Budget Kindred series looking at elves, and this time we're looking at the multiple mana dorks. So what do I mean when I say multiple mana dorks? I feel like there's probably a better term for that. I just don't know it. Mana dorks that make multiple mana, not many mana dorks. Multiple mana dorks is confusing, but anyway, okay, I'm not gonna rant. What are we covering? Once again, I'm covering exemplars, creatures with a high affinity with one color. We are on the last one, green for elf right now. So yeah, anyway, I have said this many times, so I'm not gonna beat it to death. And I'm also doing the five kindred or top five kindred types, I, but at least what I think are the top five. I'm sure others would disagree, but yeah. Dragons, goblins, elves, vampires, humans. I've actually done goblins and I'm doing elves now. So elves is kind of like the second part of that series. But yeah, dragons, vampires, humans coming up after that. So anywho. What about, uh, uh, what about elves? Um, their main color is green. So they are extremely useful and very green focused. They have mana dorks galore, uh, removal, buffs, plenty of trickery effects. So yeah, they are very, very flexible. They're one of the original creature types. So whenever you get one of the original creature types, there's a pretty huge variety of things. Same with elementals. Elementals aren't maybe as powerful as some of the others, but this is like, yeah, elves definitely are up there. So this is the second video in the elf series on multiple mana dorks. Once again, um, not meaning many mana dorks, mana dorks that make many mana. I wish there was a better way to say that. And what do I mean by budget? I mean one dollar or less and then use the TCG market value. Not a sponsor, not one bit, no. Honorable mention. So accomplished alchemist for three and a green is a two five, which is pretty good for a mana dork. Um, tap to add one mana of any color. Only one mana, but, or add X mana of any one color where X is the amount of life you gain this turn. So that can be, in a life gain deck, that's going to be a lot, right? That's going to add up really, really quickly. So yeah. Ooh. Anywho, the amount of life you gain this turn, not from like one trigger. As, especially you, you got lifelink. Maybe you've got a whole bunch of two twos with lifelink. Even if there's three of them, you'd make six mana because you gain six life from the triggers. It's not one trigger, it's the total life gained. Anyway. Lana War Mentor. This is a weirder one. For one green is a 1-1. One, one. You can pay a green, discard a card. A card. Any card. Create a 1-1 one, one green elf druid creature token. Named Lana War Elves. It has tap, add one green. So you can discard a card and just like start making these tokens that are going to make mana. Um, oh boy. Myria Scholar of Antiquity. So one red green. Tap and untap non-token artifact you control, add green. Um, tap to untap non-token artifact creatures you control, exile the top card of your library, and you may play that card this turn. So this will only make one mana, unfortunately, which is not what this list is about, I'm now realizing. I think I thought you could do this multiple times. Oh, you can. Yeah, okay. You can tap and untap uh, uh, non-token artifact. Yeah, mix all your artifacts basically into mana dorks or mana rocks, even if they're not. So yeah, there's the multiple. That's actually pretty good. And yeah, you can also use it to make, get some extra card draw. Card draw and ramp, that's uh, two of the things you know on your checklist for a deck. Anywho, 20 cents or less. Number five. Devoted Druid. Okay, so you can add one green, sorry, one and a green for a zero two. You can tap to add a green. Again, that is only one, but part of minus one, minus one counter on Devoted Druid and untap it. So you can, un just by putting a plus one, plus one counter on, get to untap and then tap again for another green. Um, so there's kind of two ways this is abusable. First of all, make it so you can't put counters on, right? Counters can't be put on things. Then you can just infinite. You go infinite immediately. So yeah. Second, if you get a bunch of plus one, plus one counters, right? You get a plus one, plus one counter and proliferate or something. Then you're just gonna 
be able to keep putting minus one, minus one counters. They'll basically cancel out the plus one, plus one counter. And yeah, you'll just keep doing it as much as you can. It's not infinite, but it's a lot. Anyway, so what kind of card do you think um, is the no putting no counters on things? Solemnity for two and a white. This is not a budget card though. Not budget, so yeah. No budget there. Um, unfortunately, no budget options. So yeah, this is I believe between eight and nine dollars at the moment. But yeah, players can't get counters. Counters can be put on artifacts, cre or artifacts, creatures, enchantments, or lands. So basically, there's no more counters being put on things. This is a very powerful counter card, which is why it's not cheap, right? So yeah. Um, but if you have Solemnity and Devoted Druid. Infinite mana immediately. Two card infinite mana. Not bad. Number four. Elvish Arch Druid. So one green green for a two two. Eh, not bad. Other elf creatures you control get plus one plus one. Elves love their anthems. And you can tap and add a green for each elf you control. Okay, so he's an elf. So we could tap for one. Ideally, you do this in like an elf typo deck, and then you're just going, or an elf kindred, whatever you want to call it, and then you're just going to make a pile of green mana every single turn. Again, elf tokens even are so easy to make that you can really abuse that. Anyway, 74 cents. Number three Grand Warlord Rada. We're looking at Gruel again, so. No, oh my. Two red green. A 3-4 with haste, so not bad, not great. Whenever one or more creatures you control attacks, add that much mana in any combination of red or green until end of turn, you don't lose this mana as steps and phases end. So it's going to make mana and all equal to the number of things attacking, and you just keep that mana as phases end, uh, and steps and phases end, so it doesn't like empty out of your mana pool. Um, after combat, you only really have one more main phase, so I guess it wouldn't disappear after combat is kind of the main thing. Um, anyway, yeah, okay. That, that is good for your main two. It's going to be a lot of extra mana. Anyway, 55 cents. Number two. Death Bloom Ritualist. I love this one. Uh, three black green for a three five. Okay, pricey for a mana, right? A mana dork, usually people want the low cost ones. This, or low CMC, I should say. This is not low CMC. Five is kind of high. But you can tap add X mana of any one color, where X is the number of creatures in your graveyard. Golgari loves some graveyard antics, so this is something you could abuse very easily. And uh, yeah, if you've got any kind of self mill deck, anything where you're going to end up with... Any deck is going to have creatures in the, you know, in the graveyard. They're going to get kicked there at some point, and yeah, you might as well get extra value out of that. Um, this is very easy to get a whole lot of extra value. Anyway, 15 cents only. Crazy. Number one, Salvala Eager Trailblazer. So two green whites, uh, Selesnia for a four or five with vigilance. Okay. Mana dwarfs with Vigilance are so good. Usually the downside is that you have to choose between is it going to make mana or is it going to be able to attack like a normal creature. With Vigilance, she gets to attack and then you can tap her for mana anyway. Um, kind of no downside or it's erasing the main downside I think. Or one of the main, anyway. Okay, whenever you cast a creature spell, create a 1-1 one, one mercenary creature token with Tap target creature, uh, tap to target creature you control gets plus one damage until end of turn. Activate only as a sorcery. So she's going to start making these uh, tokens every time you cast a creature spell. And these tokens can be tapped to boost the attack of another creature by one. Especially if you're playing something like a commander, that's ex insanely useful because give your commander double strike and then use this a few times and you're probably going to be one-shotting people already, right? It's very easy to get that kind of easy sneaky, uh, easy sneaky, that sneaky win con in. Uh, choose a color, sorry, tap to choose a color. Add one mana of that color for each different power among creatures you control. Another really nice synergy there is like, 
tokens and plus one plus one counters go together very nicely. And yeah, if you're making tokens and you got plus one plus one counters, you're going to end up with a whole array of different like attack powers. And that way you can, or you could, I guess, even use yeah, the mercenaries to change the attack power and you can make more mana that way too. So yeah, she's using kind of synergizing with herself. Her mercenaries are going to synergize with her mana production. Anyway, this is going to make a pile of mana as well, and it's any color you want. 33 cents? The list! Devoted Druid, 62 cents. Elvish Arch Druid, 74 cents. Grand Warlord Rada, um, 55 cents. Death Bloom Ritualist, only 15 cents. Salvala Eager Trailblazer, 33 cents. Okay, take it easy.